Trust and believe in the universal laws because they never go wrong. Trust and believe in yourself. Like I said, that assurance means confidence and certainty in one's own abilities. So know that you have the ability to create miracles. You have the ability to accomplish your goals. You have the ability to get from where you are to where you desire and deserve and are worthy of being. The enigmatic entrepreneur whose words will make you sure. Know, trust, and believe. The master teacher has come to help you succeed. The gem dropper, the truth speaker, the voice in the universe that will bring you to your highest peak. Welcome to the Get High on Motivation Show with Mimi the Motivator. Your favorite motivator's favorite motivator. All right, love bugs, you know what time it is. It is time for Get High on Motivation. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, love bugs. I am your favorite motivator's favorite motivator. And this is the Get High on Motivation show, where we get together once a week so we can figure out how can I be 1% better in one area of my life. Because as long as I am concentrating on being 1% better every single day, I have no choice but to be transformed. 30 days from now, 60 days from now, 90 days from now, a year from now, five years from now. So it is up to us to make sure that we are laying the bricks of success, the laying the bricks of change and transformation that are required for us to reach our next level of life. I am a holistic leadership development expert and I love to help people get from where they are and to where they desire to be because I believe whatever you desire, you deserve. I believe that whatever you desire, you are worthy of. And I believe that the universal laws are here to serve you as well. And to part of that today, we're going to talk about miracles, how we can go from nothing to something in any area of our life using these three easy steps. So if you are ready to work some miracles in your life, then you have definitely tuned in to the correct episode today. Now, let's take three deep breaths so we can connect, reset and get ready for this conversation about creating miracles. Doesn't that feel better? I know I feel better. It always calms me down, gets me centered, gets me grounded, gets me focused as well. Because a lot of times our mind is going all over the place. They have what they call monkey mind. You can kill that monkey mind by taking some deep breaths, by tuning into your breath, tuning into your heartbeat, tuning into the power and energy moving within your body, just resetting. I call it going home. You can go home for a few seconds, no matter where you are. So how are we going to make something out of nothing? I'm talking about creating miracles today, love bug. I read this book a long time ago when I was a teenager, and I read it a couple times about the miracle worker. And the miracle worker was not a holy book. It was nothing spiritual, or I guess in a sense it was, but I was not at an age to recognize the spirituality in the book. But it was about a young man living a pretty rough life in a pretty rough area of town, and how he was working miracles. And today I want to share some steps with you so you too can be a miracle worker. Like I said, you don't have to be Jesus. You don't have to be some other deity out there to be able to work miracles. There's just three things, three things that are required for you to create a miracle, for you to make something out of nothing. First step. Imagine the possibilities. The first step is all about imagination and ideas. Get a piece of paper out. If you don't have time to write it, just close your eyes and lay in your bed tonight and think about what are all the possibilities that can exist for me in this area? What are some ideas? And write them all down if you can. Really write them down because write it, you might forget. I don't know, you might think you have a super memory, but I know that the older we get and the more we consume information, it's like pouring something into a cup. It's some stuff that's going to spill out. 
So this is an important conversation and you want to be sure that if nothing else, write down step number one, imagine the possibilities. Now you don't have to think right now about if it's possible for you. That's step number two. Shh, don't tell nobody. But really think about what are some possibilities for a situation, positive possibilities, not consequences, not, you know, what's the worst thing can happen? No, what is the best thing can happen? What are some great things that can happen? What are some possibilities in that area? If you want a new car, for example, what are some possible ways for you to get a new car? What kind of cars do you even have in mind that you would love to be the owner of and be in possession of? Let's get down to the very nitty gritty of just simple ideas. Albert Einstein said that imagination is more important than knowledge, that knowledge is limited and that imagination encircles the world. So that's pretty powerful for a man that we know to have done a great deal of things, a great deal of inventions. Come on, man. We know Albert Einstein was super smart. And if this super smart guy said that imagination was more important than knowledge and he was a very knowledgeable person, then trust and believe that your imagination is very, very important. It's crucial to utilize, to stretch, to exercise your imagination, to play pretend. If you don't know how to play pretend, then go hang out with somebody's kids. Or if you have children of your own, go play pretend with them so you can get back to the idea of imagination. And into your world of imagination. So what can you imagine as possibilities? What are realistic possibilities that you can imagine? And once you start imagining these things. And now you have a list of ideas of things that are possible for you. Then we're going to move on to step number two. Step two is that you have to believe that these possibilities are possible for you not that they're possible for somebody else or possible for somebody you see on social media or that's a celebrity or somebody in your family or your co-worker your friend it's possible for them but now i don't know about me no it's possible for you and you have to do your best to believe in those possibilities you have to have faith there's a great great quote that says that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. So first of all, let me read Ron. I said we was going to make something out of nothing. But if you really think about it, imagination and ideas are not nothings. The idea that produced this microphone that I'm speaking on right now obviously was a valuable idea. And it obviously was not a nothing. Things that we imagine are not nothings. They're more like almost somethings, which is close enough. But we have to see that that is really not a nothing. It's substance. Okay? Your belief is substance. Your belief is evidence. And evidence is the last time I checked. And if you watch one of those crime shows, evidence has got a whole room full of evidence. So evidence is a real thing. So we're going to create our miracles from actual real things, from our imagination, from our ideas. Okay. So back to step number two, we have to believe that it's possible, right? Well, I also read that same quote somewhere else with some different verbiage. And it said that now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. So let's talk about what the word assurance means. Because I had to dig for that too. I went ahead and wrote down because I wanted to be sure that we both were clear on what the word assurance means. Because I have, I always tie the word assurance with insurance. That means like something has got my back is how I think of it. But assurance is a positive declaration intended to give confidence, a promise. The second definition says that it is confidence or certainty in one's own abilities. Hmm. So we have to have faith in the possibilities. We have to have faith in our ideas. We have to have faith in our vision and not be operating as if we don't know any better. No, we know That if we can see it in our head, it's possible. We've heard it too many times by too many speakers, by too many greats. We have to believe. For my people who out there who pray, it was told that you have to pray 
believing because if you pray believing that it's not going to work then more than likely it's not going to work because that's the power of your mind all right step number three is the hardest and the easiest at the same damn time step number three is that you have to put in the work because this very famous man named james said that faith without works is dead what i heard jim Rohn say one time is that activity seals miracles so what that tells me love bug is first of all i got to get some ideas and i got to imagine the possibilities secondly i have to believe that these ideas are real and be can become tangible things i think that's why a lot of times we don't think that imagination is real because it's not tangible and a lot of us only believe that tangible things that we can touch and feel are real when that is so far from the truth but number three is to put that faith to work to act like it's possible for you i keep looking at this little note that's taped to my desk that says act as if dot 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 and it says billionaire i have to act as if i'm a billionaire i have to act as if i own a successful company because i do i have to act as if my online school is growing i have to act as if i have healthy relationships because acting with it is part of it but that second part is actually putting in the work not just pray and pretend but putting in some work so let's go back to the the car example if you want a new car part of the work is first of all go look for the car go on online and compare and see is this the right car compare the different kind of cars on your list of ideas that you have imagined yourself driving check out the reviews on the different vehicles compare them check the gas mileage the price all of this stuff because it's really not even about the cost it's really more so about the worth mm, i think that's what we're going to talk about next week cost versus worth but do your homework i had to have a conversation with my clients the other day they always have these great ideas but are hardly willing to do the work is what i've realized there's a pattern of they want to start this business and so i was like okay well that's cool well go ahead and see how much does it really cost for the overhead because you told me how much the company makes or how much a business can make but that's not the profit margin that's what the income that's generated but how much money is going to be going out to support such a business how much does it cost to start such a business and the look of exhaustion on his face made me feel exhausted and i had to realize like babe you got to be willing to do the work. So many clients sometimes are not willing to do the work. So many times I have found myself not willing to do the work. I just want the results. But the results don't come without us doing the work. And we have to go back to that uh, statement earlier. Eliminate all excuses. So all we have is action to fall back on. We only have results to fall back on. Because the action is going to be required for the miracle to take place. High activity. Not high worrying. Not high praying. But doing some physical actions that can get you a step closer to the miracle taking place. No matter what it is that you desire or whatever you think you need right now. Because a lot of us think we need stuff. That... <laughs> also is a lie we need to expose some of the lies in our head and first of all we don't have needs we really don't even have wants we have desires and all of our needs are always going to be taken care of if you really needed something please believe the universe that we live in will serve it up for you all you have to do is trust and believe Trust and believe in the universal laws because they never go wrong. Trust and believe in yourself. Like I said, that assurance means confidence and certainty in one's own abilities. So know that you have the ability to create miracles. You have the ability to accomplish your goals. You have the ability to get from where you are to where you desire and deserve and are worthy of being. The message might just be for me. If you feel in this message, let me know. Drop something in the chat box. If you're feeling this message, send me something on Instagram and let me know. I felt that. Let me know what you felt about it. Because we have to feel it. That's part of having that faith is having the feeling that it's going to work out. Having the feeling that it's really already worked out. I just need to step and do my part. You have to make a step towards your destination and your destination will start moving towards you. But you 
have to be willing to take the first step. Quit waiting on the universe to take the first step. Quit waiting on the universe to just drop something in your lap. Do the work. Make the miracle easier to come to you. Make yourself more receptive to the miracles. Which means you're going to have to be receptive to the self-discipline that is required for the miracle that you really desire. See, some of us are wishing and hoping and praying for something that we're not even really ready for. We have not even prepared ourselves for. We haven't prepared ourselves mentally, physically, financially, but we desire this thing. If you desire the end, you have to desire the means to the end. That means you have to desire the maintenance of it too. People want a nice fancy car. I had to have same client y'all have a conversation about buying fancy cars where do you know with having a fancy car you can't just treat it like whatever you're going to need to maintain it or you're going to always find yourself repairing. It is much easier to maintain a vehicle than to repair a vehicle. It's much easier to maintain a home than have to buy expensive repairs. It's much easier to maintain a relationship than having to repair it. Maintain. So part of what we have to do in this getting blessings and creating miracles is you want to be able to maintain your miracle love bug. So how can you maintain the thing that you are preparing yourself for? So imagine the possibilities. Believe that whatever possibilities you have come up with are possible for you. And they're possible for you today. And what that means, no, that doesn't mean that, oh, it can drop out of the sky because it can. Don't get it twisted. It can. The universe does not work on a time clock like we do. And anything can happen at any time. A manifestation can pop off at any time. But in the meantime and in between time, we need to be preparing and readying ourselves for the miracle. We need to be putting in the work and putting in our part for the miracle to take place. If this was a 50-50 relationship with you and the universe, make sure you bring in your 50 to the table. Don't expect universe to do 100% of what you can do yourself. So yes, we're going to have confidence and certainty in our own abilities, but we're also going to have that same level of confidence and certainty in the universe. Knowing that the universe got our back. The universe is holding us up. The universe is at our side. The universe goes before us and prepares the way. And the universe is always covering us. Love bug, <laughs> whatever miracle you feel like you need right now in your life, you have just now received three easy steps to make it possible. Make the list of possibilities, believe in the possibilities, and then work the vision, work the ideas, put in the work because faith without works is dead. But you are definitely going to have to have faith in this miracle that you are trying to produce. So that way you don't have to try and you'll just do it. Eliminate the word try. Create the miracle. Make the decision. Commit to the decision. Then commit to the activity required for you to get to the destination or for the destination to get closer to you faster. I love you, love bug. This might have been a tough conversation. I can't wait to listen to it. I feel like T.D. Jakes when he be like, oh, I can't wait to watch the DVD. That's how I feel. Because I know for certain this conversation definitely is for me. And I'm hoping that this conversation served you as well, love bug, because you deserve a miracle in your life. And I know that there is some area that you are dying, desiring this miracle. You need something. Like, I need something to happen before <laughs> for something to happen. It's okay. You're not alone, and I'm there with you. But we now know that we can create miracles. We now know that we are miracle workers. And all we have to do is take the steps. Take the steps. If you're scared, it's okay. We're all afraid. Feel the fear and do it anyway. And then I'll see you next week. Bring somebody with you. Let them know that your favorite motivator, favorite motivator, be dropping some nuggets. I'm reading the books and I'm doing the math for me. I'm reading the books. I'm doing the math for you because I believe that we are into this together. So I'm going to keep coming back with the conversations. You keep coming back for the conversation and we'll talk offline. I'll see you soon, love bug. Keep on working, being 1% better in your life because you deserve a better you and everybody else around you does as well. I love you. I appreciate you so very much. Be happy, be healthy, definitely be you. Because can't nobody else do it like you do. I promise that.
Life eternal, eternal life. Recognize the difference. Start tonight. It's a new life, not one thing wrong, it's too right. Every day is a blue light special. Hear the words I tell you. Can't buy into what I'm selling without hearing the story I'm telling. Life is sweet like melon. If that's wrong, guess I'm a failing. Don't have time to rewind. Eyes to watch what's behind. They're always looking forward. Follow me if you want to move toward. Start tonight. 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 Start ton